All right, let's do this. Ooh, ooh, oh. This is actually not a bad start, honestly. We're gonna cop this for an early game shovel. Um, And honestly, getting the goober here might not be too bad. Just for the activations uh, that you can receive off of it, right? And then getting that Wawish Tussle on sale is also good for Spike Shield. Early game. Early game sells. Always good. Always good. Can we beat this guy, please? Heal. Nice. Nice. That was good. That was good. That was, oh, my gosh. A whetstone on sale? Excuse me, game? What is the game trying to do to me right now? Um, Let's do that. And I'm going to buy the torch or just buy the... What do you call that thing? The lump of coal to get a torch. And I'll buy the other wooden sword. Reserve the leather bag. We're going to need at least one banana. Preferably two bananas, but at least one banana here. Um, Okay, just a bunch of food with a broom. Interesting. Hopefully, we can get carried by the goober here uh, because we're definitely going to be needing that healing. Uh, I guess we didn't really need it, to be honest, but I'll take it. Got a blueberry from that, too. Oh, my God. Wooden buckler. Wooden buckler on sale? I will take that. Um... We don't really have space for this banana situation, but I do have the goober, which is nice. So with that being said, with that being said, uh, with that being said, with that being said, with that being said, let's move. Let's move the goober over here. Move this down by one so the shield can also get an activation. And we're just going to buy the banana for, you know, for future sake. Buy the banana for future sake. It'll come in handy for sure. I'm um, going against a goobert of this guy's own. What a sh uh, hammer. Double banana. Very interesting. We should be able to out heal because of the goobert. Potentially. I mean, the hammer doesn't attack that much. So that shield is kind of just not helping us a lot right now. And his goober, his goober activated at the last minute too. Good game though. That's okay. Good game. Let's get the leather bag. Yes, I do need that whetstone. We can go ahead and swap these two out, get that hero sword, and we can turn that into a, uh, I forgot the name of you. I, forgot, I definitely forgot the name of that. What do you, what do you, what do you call you? A steel goober. There we go. Yeah, we're going to turn into a steel goober next round. Um, let's see here. Let's go banana plus blueberries right there. Better activations. And then we can just stick these to wherever we want. Reserve the leather bag because we're going to need that. And let's see what we're going against. Looks... Looks like I, I was confused about this combination. I was like, what is he doing? He's upgrading his poison. That's what he's doing. Um, but hey, we won. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> pretty sure. Probably because of that healing goober. Honestly. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is turning out to be a really good run. It's turning surprisingly turning out to be a really good run. Let's get the space. We're gonna need it. Let's all go so get this health potion here. Let's reserve the leather armor and I'm gonna buy another blueberries um all right so now we're gonna get some combinations going all right so we're going to need to combine the blueberries with the health potion and then the steel goobert with the i mean the hero sword with the steel goobert i still don't even think i said that right <laughs> pretty sure i did it um i'm gonna move this over by one just so we can do a little situation like that still get that combination off and that should be good Yep, that should be good. Going against a Goober Reaper build, Wooden Buckler, a little bit of bananas, broom situation. I say we probably win this, honestly, because we have spike shields, they don't. So we got that extra DPS, and then we also got healing of our own. Unless we prolong this battle, and their poison just ramps up, and we end up dying, which is exactly what's happening. It's unfortunate. I thought we were going to win that, too. Very unfortunate. It's okay, though, because we got the combinations. Which is great. Let's go ahead and get that uh, shield. And should we get a, a second banana? Getting a second banana might not be a bad idea, honestly. Um, We don't even have space to use the leather armor, unfortunately. I wonder what's better having the shield instead of the food here. I, 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 I'm going to try it. I, I don't know which one's better, but we're just going to try it. Freak you, gonna lurk, trying to get unwashed and grind to top 500. Um, world on campaign maps and track mania. <laughs> Good luck, my friend. And thanks for, thank you for lurking. I appreciate that. You are awesome. You are awesome. I'm gonna move this down here just so I can have a spot to put the banana. Um, and then we could just put the garlic right there. I do want to buy that other banana though. I'm gonna be honest. 
even if we don't have a spot to put it, buying this other banana isn't going to be a bad thing. Oh, wow. Speaking of spots to put it, we got some spots to put it. Beautiful. And we can roll again. Um, ah, Ripshaw Blade. Ripshaw Blade would be... No, 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 no. Because that's a 0. 0.8. This is a 0. 0.7. I mean, we're going to have double banana. So as far as stamina usage goes, it might not be that big of a problem. Um, It could be a good replacement for Shovel until we can find something that's a better replacement. Um, as far as DPS goes, right? So, I say we keep it, and hopefully our bananas will be able to carry us as far as, uh, stamina situations go. But yeah, this should be good right here. This should be good. Going against Shovel Hero Sword. I say our situation is better than their situation. We almost have the same situation, but, um, we have still Goober, right? So we get that defense, which is good. Pretty much the same as healing in this situation. Um, so yeah, we definitely take this guy out for sure. For sure. Good game. Good game. Good game. Now we have the magic torch. Got a little bit of mana generation as well. So that's really, really good. Um, I say we risk it and we actually don't get the ripshaw blade here, but I do want to get the, uh, I want to get the vampiric armor. You sell for two, which is actually kind of good considering I just need to sell this and I'll be able to buy the stamina sack. And hopefully with the stamina sack, I'm able to, well, to do that. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna have enough space to put the banana anywhere. Unless I just move this. No, that, well, yeah, that wouldn't work. Um, Maybe there's some sort of configuration situation that I can do here that makes sense, right? What if I did that? Boom. Yeah, that works. Boom. All right, cool. That works. That works. All right, that's looking good. I say we risk it. I'm, I'm looking for a, um, I'm looking for a hungry blade. I want to risk it for a hungry blade instead of getting the ripshaw blade there. But with our mana generation, at least we have some form of infinite DPS scaling early, um, and that's gonna help us a lot. We're at what 811, 811 right now. So that's the yeah, like that's gonna happen. If we didn't have this blueberry, we would be in a way worse situation. But it's not gonna last forever, so we need to find. Definitely need to find a. Uh, ooh, 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 wow. Okay. 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 Um. Let's see here. We definitely buy that. Let's go ahead and sell you. Definitely buy the mana orb as well. Let's get some space. We need to get a hungry blade though. A sap. We need to get a hungry blade ASAP. Um. And why not? Let's let's go ahead and just turn this into a uh, into a moon shoot. I would rather use it on a mana thirst, honestly. But considering we don't have the hungry blade and we already got vampiric armor along with the steel goober, that can benefit us a lot. And we'll still get that mana generation that we can utilize with the magic torch, anyways. So that's not a bad idea. I'm just trying to figure out my space situation here because it's not a thing. So that's definitely gonna have to go down there. No brainer. Um, let's move this over. That can go like that. We can actually, well, be, yeah, we need space. If we did this instead. And then double down down here. I'm just trying things out right now. I don't know if this will actually be beneficial or not. Yo! Anna, yo, sup? Hey, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. How's your day going? I hope it's great. And I appreciate you coming through to my stream. Thank you. I think this will be straight though, because now we have double, uh, double DPS infinite scaling with magic torch and still goober on the shovel. Um, that's going to be turning into a moon shield. We'll get more space next round. Yeah, I think this is straight. I mean, we could have sold the garlic along with the Lucky Clover to get that extra space to utilize that banana, but I, I, I don't know. I think we'll be fine regardless. Um, but yeah, this is turning out to be a pretty nice build we got going on here. You can see our block generation is absolutely insane. Out of stamina, though, because we don't have that other banana, but I mean, we're doing, what, 30 to 33 on our shovel right now? Like, it doesn't even matter. How am I? I'm doing pretty damn good. I appreciate you asking. I'm doing pretty good. I hope you're doing good. Um, we have two options here. I could get a leather armor and combine that with the moon shield in case we get another vampiric armor. Realistically, what I would like to do 
is to get two moon shields instead of getting two vampiric armors. Um, and as soon as I say that we get a blood amulet, we probably should have gotten that leather armor. It would have been better than nothing because now we got to wait and hope and pray, right? Which I'd rather not. I could also get a vampiric gloves. Maybe. Maybe, 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 because that'll help us as well. Um, I don't know. I say I risk it here. I'm going to just risk it and keep rolling. Okay. There goes another mana orb. Let's buy this now because that'll be good. Let's reserve the fanny pack. Honestly, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put that down there instead because I would like to utilize this extra banana that I have. Because utilize, the utilization of extra banana is beautiful. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do that as well. And this could honestly just like go over here like that instead. I think that's straight. I just, how long have I been playing backpack battles? I think I have around 300 hours so far, I believe. Like 300 plus, like low 300s. I can check after this game though. Going against the Reaper looks like a shovel for Tuna's Grace. Their build isn't complete because they're still using a shovel. I mean, I'm still using the shovel, but you know, we don't talk about me in this situation. As you can see, as you can see, if they had like a, just something different here, it would have been a, uh, probably a worse situation, but still good game. Good game. Um, let's roll here. Getting the Ruby egg is interesting. Actually very interesting. You know what we could do is we could just go Ruby egg. We could just go magic torch and straight up Ruby egg, sell the shovel. And not even go for a mana thirst. Because the reason I say that is because the Ruby egg doesn't use mana or stamina. Sorry, it doesn't use stamina, which means we can make everything faster. We can make the Ruby egg faster or Ruby chunk faster along with the magic torch. And that can scale as well versus having two different forms of DPS with both of them using up your stamina. I say that's what we do. I think that's a good idea. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Let's sell you. Honestly, let's get rid of the regeneration as well. Get the ruby chunk roll. And we got a acorn collar, which is something that I like. Um, I gotta figure out where to put this. I mean, that works, but it's not, it's not ideal, but it'll be okay. Right, 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 right. It'll be okay. I believe I'm selling you. That was not the best of rolls. <laughs> it'll be kind of, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Going against the uh, Reaper or sorry, not Reaper, uh, Ranger with a Goober hungry blade. That's a lot of regeneration. Holy Jesus. What a hungry blade. Okay. A little bit of a challenge. DPS is increasing. Vampirism is increasing. Out of stamina, though. However, it seems like our scaling is just a little bit better because of the block we're getting and because of the DPS scaling that we have. So I'll definitely take that. Oh, got the Hungry Blade. What do we do here? You know, we could just do both. Let's just do both. Get the Hungry Blade, sell the Shovel, get the Mana Thirst, and then we'll also just have the Ruby Chunk on the side. As another form of DPS. We can even put that there. Um, buy the fanny pack. Roll. Don't want anything there. I don't even care about the jewel. Oh, buddy. There she is. There she is. Um, I will gladly. I will gladly take another shield of Aelor. Gladly. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Kurt Woodstaff, bow and arrow. A bunch of food doesn't look like a little just a little bill a little tiny little thing he got going on i say we win he actually did a lot of dps to us considering our block was only 39. all the other battles previous we had like 90 100 block left it's pretty crazy um but now our stamina is a 1.1 almost perfect let's get that shield of a lore even though we can't use it right now it'll be okay um should i just roll here or should i get the protective purse I am honestly not sure in the answer of that question. Um, oh, and we got the Ruby Whelp that we have to utilize here. Could put the Ruby Whelp there. 
that's where i would like it to be at least um honestly let's move all 3ds down so they're all touching the the ranger sack as well ranger sack ranger bag <laughs> ranger bag boom this can go here we might not have any space for the food after this honestly because that's how i would like it to look um that can go there and then the rest would just be food for the most part damn well we definitely need to have uh you know that going on um and then we could just buy this i suppose put that in there all right i think that's good we need the blueberries to generate the clovers to increase our crit and that's why i'm pretty much keeping the blueberries that was a lot of block he's got vampiric armor as well a little bit of a a reaper situation that's a lot of food that's a lot of food i think he wanted to get an excalibur but uh he just didn't run into a stamina potion that's what it's looking like to me unfortunately but he got this far of only having a bunch of food so there's that i mean he does generate a lot of poison that's one two three four five flying arlix and then you know the, the the freaking coffin as well but still not enough i wonder if this is going to be a perfect game it's looking like it's going to be a perfect game so far. Um, what do we need? We need another mana orb for this guy. Um, we need a mana orb in general. Getting a mana orb would be amazing. Honestly, Box of Riches might not be bad either. Now that we're round six deep. I want to see if we can get some jewels. What do we need? We need red jewels. Yeah, more than anything, we need red jewels, right? This doesn't look like we're getting red jewels, but we did get another blueberry, so there's that. We'll just put both of those in there. Um, Clover can go up there. But yeah, we need red jewels, because red jewels is going to increase the amount of healing that we do, and we do a lot of healing, considering we have, what, two forms of healing right now. One being the mana thirst, the second one being the leaf. If we get the orb, that'll be a third healing, because that... Um, Never mind, it's not going to be a third healing. I thought it healed for some reason. I don't know why I thought the thing healed. Anyways, but yeah, two different forms of healing, which is going to be good, especially in the late game once our block isn't that great because everyone has super high DPS. But versus this Bloodthorn, I don't even think it matters. Even though he just did 58 critical to us. Out of stamina, though. Out of stamina. It's pretty damn crazy. Good game, though. Um, Stamina sack for sure. And we got ourselves the Chip Ruby. That's good. Let's roll... Do we need more space? We did just get the stamina sack. I don't think I want to waste money on space. No. Um. It's a little interesting. Getting the gloves of haste here might not be a terrible idea. Honestly, not sure. I would like to use it on the vampiric armor. Likewise, I could also use it on the ruby wall because that's the slowest uh, item that we have, DPS wise. 2.2 seconds versus the 1.4. That's a whole, almost a whole one second, you know? So let's just get it, I suppose. As soon as I said that, we got the mana orb. <laughs> Crap. I mean, we have five rounds left. So we don't really need to sweat it too hard to be honest i would love to get a second one i think next round we're just spam next round we're just spamming for a second mana orb honestly going against poison gooby with a regular gooby a lot of poison going on ripshaw blade pandanomium interesting build very interesting build um i say we probably beat this guy though they don't really have super strong mana generation so the utilization of that uh invulnerability probably isn't going to happen they only generated three so far dps wise they don't have any dps scaling except for the poison and even then they don't really have that they don't have any crazy activations on a poison goober or even on the the food itself good game though let's get that second or third fourth fifth mana orb and give me another one getting a, a another acorn collars and i didn't see how much we crit though Seeing how much we crit would have been nice. Either way, I feel like our DPS is fine. So let's not get that. Oh. I want it, but no. 
I wanted, but no. I need an orb. Didn't get the orb, unfortunately. Should I just turn this into a moon shield now or no? Or do I keep the orb the way it is to utilize that 12 random buffs? Not sure. But I think I'm just going to combine anyways. And I don't know where to put this. Um, we can change this situation up just a little bit. To make the bananas faster for no reason. That'll work. That'll work. Okay. okay, another bloodthorn. I keep going against a lot of bloodthorns. Like I almost like like maybe like four blood four or five bloodthorn builds every time you play this game. It's crazy. Bloodthorn is king right now, and this build is looking pretty damn dangerous. That is a very fast bloodthorn. He's got double uh, gloves, one of them being vampiric gloves, and he's also got double bird on that guy. Stamina usage is going to be our biggest W here, though, considering we have double shields going on. Um, so we're going to have to rely heavy, heavy on those shields in order to... Oh, my God. That was a lot of damage. Oh, my God. Come on. Come on. Oh, no. Wow. I wanted a perfect run. No. We couldn't heal it, bro. We couldn't heal enough. Um... What was our DPS 16, 22? Yeah, we couldn't heal enough. We didn't even get a proc. I don't, yeah, we didn't, we wasn't able to get a, a mana proc there, unfortunately. I wonder how much we did heal though. What? That's it? How did we not? No, nah, there's no way. There's, 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 there's no way. That was just, that was all the healing that we did? Really? There's no way. Only third, there's no, there's no way. That makes no sense. That's interesting. I don't know how we didn't heal more than that. I'm a little sad about that situation. We could have had a perfect run there. It's okay, though. That's the last L we're taking. We're not taking any more L's this entire match. Not a single L is being further taken, especially since we got that. Um, Let's roll. I might switch up the situation a little bit here. Let's get some space. Roll. All right, let's, let's switch it up a little bit. Let's switch this up a little bit. I'm going to put you there. And then I'm going to do that. Um, I'm thinking on if I'm going to regret doing that or not. Considering the Ruby Whelp. I need the Ruby Whelp to be on the Magic Torch. That's my only concern right now. It's getting that Ruby Whelp on the Magic Torch. Unless... Unless I do this, and then I put the torch here, like that. That theoretically would work, or rather here. So let's move this. This can go here. Magic torch there. Whoops. Like that. That way, these both are getting a DPS bonus from the, um, the still goober. We just need another activation on this side, which we could just easily put food there or something. That would work. Or we could like swap these two out. Like that. That would also work. That way we have a little bit more space on this side for an and uh for an activation of sorts. Just depends on what's going to activate. Honestly, what about this five mana used? How fast do we use five mana? For like the yeah, we use it actually kind of fast. That should be a lot of activations, because we're using 30 right there. This is using 20. And we're building it up fast because of the, the shields. So this should theoretically activate a lot. I believe. Um, the only problem now is I'm not able to put the acorn collar here. Unfortunately. Our biggest increase in DPS is probably going to be these two. Unless I rotate this entire situation to 180. Um, but I'm just going to put it there. Just because. And yeah, that can stay there. Yeah, all this can stay the way that it is. I have faith. I have faith in this setup. I have faith in this setup. That was going to be our last L. We're not taking any more Ls this entire match. Not even against the notorious Poison Hammer build, okay? We heal too much, okay? We're not taking any Ls right here. Look at that. 24 off the rip. Um, A little bit more will proc. There goes the proc. Beautiful. Very beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. What's our, what's our DPS at? 18, 17... 
13. Another proc. Nice. Even more DPS, even more healing. Beautiful. What are we? Like our DPS literally doubled when we proc'd right there. Yeah. Out of stamina. Yeah. We're not taking any more else at all. Let's view you. Um, I would like more healing orbs, though. And maybe even something to make that a little bit faster. Like that. That works. Um, roll. Ooh. We should get it. I mean, there's no point in us not getting it. Just depends on where I'm going to be able to put it. This would be such a good spot. Because it hits the weapons and it also hits the uh, the vampiric armors up there. Which is something that I would love to be hit. So, with that being said, we're going to move everything to the right. By one. Put that bad boy right there. Um, now we just got to make sure our bananas are fast in order to keep up with that speed. It's the only thing that we would have to realistically worry about now. But we should be fine, honestly. Let's roll. Ah, I wouldn't mind getting another blueberry. Why not? I did not want to roll again there. We're fine, though. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Let's see how we do. Oh, and he's got stamina potions as well. Ripshaw blade, double Fortuna's grace. Okay. That's a lot of DPS, but not a lot of survivability. But then again, he does have vampire gloves, giving him that five vampirism, which is going to help him just a little bit. But I mean, like I said, it's just a little bit, right? Um, I say we have way better survivability than this guy does. And our DPS is probably also better. We have double shields. His stamina usage is going to be crazy, considering he's got two bow and arrows along with a ripshaw blade. Um, all his stamina potions were just used, and that is game. Let's get that. This is going to be the last round. We need to roll for... Okay, a blood amulet on sale isn't actually that bad. I'll take that. Give me a jewel, though. Last jewel we could get is a regular sapphire. Um, you know what? I don't mind getting the regular sapphire. Let's just take it. Yeah, that will be fine. That'll be, that'll be good. This is looking good. I'm actually going to replace this guy, even though it doesn't really matter. I mean, it does matter, but meh. Just making it 20% faster, why not, right? And I can't put this anywhere, so <laughs> I'm just going to sell you. It's gonna sell you. What are we going against? Okay, we definitely win. I don't even have to look at your build. You, this isn't a build. It's just, it's just a blood thorn. Not even a blood thorn. It's just a, a what do you call you? A thorn whip. It's just a thorn whip with the fencing rapier, and that's it. That's it. That is it. This is uh, this is a good one. I'm pretty sure we won this one unless something crazy happens and he just starts doing an insane amount of damage from the fencing rapier. I don't think it's gonna proc either. I mean. He's not generating enough luck for it to proc. He's got all the spikes in the world, but that luck is not happening for him. It's not happening. He saved himself a nice little three seconds or whatnot, but um, oh, 60 critical right there. That is game. That was a good one, though.